What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. You might be wondering why I'm over here standing in the shade behind a bunch of random cars and the trees, and that's because the secret project that we've had for about a month now, I'm looking at it right now, and I want Haley to introduce it to y'all because it is super cool, super fun, and I have some footage that'll overlay from when we picked it up and all that kind of stuff, but this is honestly what we've been kind of planning for and working on for the past month, so it's been kind of crazy. We went home to Michigan for a little bit, but this is what is gonna be a lot of the channel for the next like probably year. So let's just get into it. All right, there she is. So we made it to the spot where we're gonna look at the camper. It's really cute and it looks big enough. I mean, no matter what, it's gonna be a lot of work. No matter what point in life we decide to do this thing. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to go, if you saw the, the last episode um, of her like camper rebuild, we basically went to go get it and that was it. We like took it from one place to another and towed it with our friend who helped us out so much because we wouldn't have been able to do it because we don't have a car that could tow it. Today we are going to go back to where we dropped it off at that uh, house that we're storing it at and we're gonna actually go kind of, I guess, work on it for the first time. Realistically, we're just gonna go clean it out a little bit, inspect it and that kind of stuff, um, but we wanted to like document every step of the way. Okay, it's hot in here, but this is the camper that we're looking at. It's so cute. It's 19 feet, so quite a bit bigger than I was expecting. The predicament is, I I know like to wear long pants and whatever for safety, but it's here in Austin, Texas, it's 101 degrees today, so I'm, I'm just gonna wear like thicker pant shorts and shoes and hope for the best. We are going to get uh, safety glasses and gloves. All the other tools are already there. I'm also wearing a hat to protect my hair. I guess. Good old Harbor Freight. All right, we got stuff from Harbor Freight and now we're headed to the camper. Pro tip, if you ever have to get any tools ever, go to Harbor Freight because the other day we bought a hitch for the camper. I think she paid like $40 for it and they have them here for $20. Plus you get free stuff. We got like a free light that you can stick up on wherever. That, that's what that blue thing was. They give you like basically a free light, a free tarp sometimes, free like microfiber cloths, whatever. You usually get a free gift. Yeah, just for shopping. But now we're headed to the camper, which is how far away? Oh, 20 minutes. And here we are. We are back at the camper. We do have uh, some hammers, a uh, crowbar, and some like safety stuff. Um, we were expecting a little bit more tools to be here but they're not, so we're gonna have to figure that out. But as it stands, we basically can just like bash apart the inside of this camper a little bit. There are some parts that are gonna require us to be more like delicate with them. There's actually some appliances still left in here, like fridges and stuff, so we're gonna have to figure out how to do that. In the time being, we do have like some basic stuff to start demolishing the inside of this, but that's it. Okay, so we got another hammer, which, you know, on the Haley scale, it goes up to her hip. If you look in here, this is kind of where it's at so far. We have some things ripped apart, like a lot of the cabinets are gone and that's gone, stuff's ripped out. We don't have like a ton of stuff going so far. So we're probably gonna start by like ripping certain things out like this. Um, we gotta start getting these out of here. The hard part is that there's electricity wire through here, but it's probably garbage electricity at this point anyways. We're gonna have to replace that. So I think that's what we have to figure out. knocked out look at that so that's almost gone uh, we got this wall out to try to see how we can take this fridge out and then started disassembling the cabinets up top should use use the medium sized one at first and try to hit try to hit like uh, like the top part of this to try to bring it watch your feet though Nice. You can kind of see where it's like, where it's uh, bolted in. I'm worried about the roof. All right. She just basically hit it with a hammer a lot and it finally came down. So second cabinet thing out. Yeah, get that out of here. Still trying to figure out how to take these guys out. Um, all right, y'all, we got the, this, out so there's no there's no frame anymore in here there's no bottom part there's no under part there's no lights anymore took all that out and threw it outside Haley got this whole cabinet out today fantastic we got 
Sorry to disassemble this little fridge container thing here. If you look in the back, there's actually the vent up there and back there. Um, yeah, I don't know. I really want to... Maybe we should stop here because I don't know what parts are structural. I'm, I'm assuming yeah. that this wall here, some part of this wall is structural. And honestly, I don't... Well, do we have to tear the wall down? Yeah, but the thing is, you can tear things down, you just gotta be, you gotta know say, what you I can. I don't mind having this as like a closet if it's easier to just keep it up. Well, that's what I'm saying, but if it, if it is structural, we just have to keep the frame, but you can still tear the wall out. Or like the paneling and everything, that would oh. all be gone. But like, like so for example, like I don't know if this crossbar here is like structural, keeping this thing from like tilting in on itself. So I don't want to tear this down yet because of that. I am going to check quotes, too, to see what it would cost somebody else to build this thing out. If we demo it? Or just entirely? Just from here yeah. on. So I think we're going to probably call it a day there. It's looking really, really good in here, though. I mean, we were having trouble making progress at first, but once we kind of got into the rhythm of things, it, it's a lot easier just to bash crap out really hard than to try to do it carefully. So. So end of day two progress, uh, or like uh, status, I guess. Um, this thing is still here. Cabinets are kind of still in. Like I said, we took out this uh, inside of this one. Took out the side of the fridge. There used to be a thing up there is now gone. And we took out the top cabinet there. So it matches that side now. So now like both sides kind of match. We still, this is actually like a little storage unit thing that we can get rid of um it's just hovering or it's like covering the wheel box or the wheel weld box whatever that is have not touched at all this back area with like the bathroom and the storage closet but apparently Haley said yeah okay you can't see it but all the cabinet doors are in there all the cabinet doors that used to be there the person who owned it before us put it there but overall, end of day two, it's not looking terrible. We have a ton of garbage outside to clean up, which is always good because it means we're making progress on the inside. But this, this is a long, long process, and uh, it's a lot of work. So, I mean, we were only here for an hour. You know we were only here for an hour and we did all that? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So, yeah, a lot of work, but overall, extremely happy with how it's coming out so far. We would have gotten a lot more done if we knew what we were doing. Yeah. Uh, but if you want to know more about the actual process of like opening this business and the, what it takes beyond just tearing crap apart, go check out Haley's uh, YouTube channel because she's going to be doing more like vlog videos about like how this whole process works and what she's going through and her experience opening this thing, right? That's kind of like the idea. Yeah, so she's going to be putting out two videos a week doing what? that. Nuh-uh. And uh, you can be able to follow her journey there. She's going to put out a video every Monday and Friday. No you can catch up with her on there and uh yeah so yeah the outside i mean you, it, you can tell so it's a 19 foot trailer it's uh really cool i don't know it's like it's night obviously 1969 it's kind of vintagey but you got i mean even the tires work we towed this thing here pretty successfully without any issues uh yeah it's kind of big but it's gonna be perfect i think for what we're trying to use it for yeah, so if you envision it, people are going to be able to, to buy from this side. Like right here, they'll be able to... The thing is, like, here, hold this. I don't know if the door... It's too high. Yeah. No, I mean, you know. It'll have a drop down. Yeah, like right here? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it would just save us a lot of money. It's, like, not bad for ordering at all. It's, like, a good height. Let me walk up. Yeah, there'll be a drop down and people can like just insert their card or whatever. Fine. Okay. Yeah, I think it'll look good. Oh Jesus Christ, that's a big B. Yes, yeah, so we gotta figure out what to do with like to do all and this. And get home and shower. Yeah, I feel gross. We should So our, our friend owns this house or is staying here. So we gotta figure out what to do with this because I don't wanna just like leave it for her to yeah. figure out. Alright, now we have to load all this crap that we just took out of the camper into a truck so it can be taken to be thrown away that way it just doesn't, doesn't just sit in this person's driveway for eternity we also got safety gloves and stuff because last time we came we forgot everything so we just got done at the camper it's back there um we left all the wood because we're gonna come back tomorrow to work on it again um and then we're just gonna load up the wood then because there's no 
truck to load it into right now. There's two here, but they're both not working for some reason. So we're gonna load it up tomorrow in whatever truck is gonna be working. But that is honestly the secret project we've been working on. We got it about a month ago and it's just been crazy. It's been just, yeah, just yeah. a lot. So uh, expect more build updates on that on this channel because that's kind of what it's gonna be like the big project for the next long time. Uh, so if you're interested in that kind of thing, stick around because oh, there's gonna be a lot of it. And yeah, if you want to know more about the business side of things, check out her channel because that's where that's going to be. But now we're going to head home, shower, and get some food. And it's only 10.30 in the morning. Get some food, then chill. One, two, three, jump!